Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And welcome back to the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim on the PC. This is Hill, and we are here back at the throat of the world. And we've just spoken with Parthenax, and we are about to go up here to the Time Wound and travel back in time by using the Elder Scroll that we found in the last episode. And let, huh? before we do that, just let me update you. We are doing the mission Alduin's Bane. So we are here to read the Elder Scroll at the Time Wound. Go to item books and Elder Scroll. Here we go, folks. Hang on to your seats. Today, Alduin's lordship will be restored. But I honor your courage. Kreef Wolf Akrin, die now in vain. What's going on? beyond the blooding of your blade. <laughs> what else is there? The battle below goes ill. If Alduin does not rise to our challenge, I fear all may be lost. You worry too much, brother. Victory will be ours. Why does Alduin hang back? We've staked everything on this plan of yours, old man. He will come. He cannot ignore our defiance. And why should he fear us, even now? We blooded him well. Four of his kin have fallen to my blade alone this day. Not only if he had stood against Aldo and himself, Golfo, Sori, Birka. They did not have Dragonrend. Once we bring him down, I promise, I will have his head. You do not understand. Alduin cannot be slain like a lesser dragon. He is beyond our strength. Which is why I brought the Elder Scroll. Veldir, we agreed not to use it. I never agreed. And if you are right, no, I will not need it. we will it. deal with Alduin ourselves. Fear it now. We shall see soon enough. Alduin approaches. So be it.
Sister Hawk granted her sacred breath to make this contract hers. Be gone, world eater. By words with older bones than your own, we break your perch on this age and send you out. You are banished. We shout you out from all our endings unto the last. Pretty impressive magic. Yes, the World Eater is gone. May the spirits have mercy on our souls. See, that would be under shouts. Dragon Rend. Where is My power has Alright, we got him with Dragon Rend.
all the natural cover. That's pretty embarrassing. I can tell the difference between the two of them. So now what happens? You truly have the voice of a Dover. Alduin's allies will think twice after this victory. It wasn't really a victory since Alduin escaped. Ni livrach in moro. True, this is not the final Krongrach. Victory. But... Not even the heroes of old were able to defeat Alduin in open battle. Alduin always was Pachlok, arrogant in his power. Uznagar Par, he took domination as his birthright. This should shake the loyalty of the Dove who serve him. I need to find out where Alduin went. Yes, one of his allies could tell us. Mat Mahus. But it will not be so easy to convince one of them to betray him. Perhaps the Hafkasayun, the palace in Whiterun, Dragon's Reach. It was originally built to house a captive Dova. A fine place to trap one of Alduin's allies, hmm? Mm. The Yarl of Whiterun might not think so. Hmm, yes. But your Soom is strong. I do not doubt that you can convince him of the need. I didn't know the Dragon Reach was built to hold the dragon. Yes. This was ages ago, you understand. There were more of us then. Before the Bruniki, the Akaviri came and killed all my Zema. I used to visit him from time to time, nearly crazed by loneliness and captivity. Tiraz Sivaz. He did not even remember his own name. I do not know how he came to be caught, but the Bronyun, the Jarl, was very proud of his pet, Pak. The Hofkasayun has been known as Dragon's Reach ever since. I wish to meditate on a word of power. Which calls to you, Dovakin? Fus, Faim, or Yol? Yol. In your tongue, the word simply means fire. It is change given form, power at its most primal. That is the true meaning of Yol. Soljak, power, you have it, as do all Dove, but power is inert without action and choice. Think of this as the fire builds in your Sum, in your breath. Sum Ark Mora, what will you burn? What will you spare? Sum Ark Mora. Yeah, catch you later, Parthen. Parthenax. Come on, TNN. Well, okay, folks. That concludes Alduin's Bane. I'm going to keep this video very short. Oh, look, it's Bessie, everyone. <laughs> wow, she is right here witnessing 
that horrible dragon fight and, and the mistaken identity between Parthenex and Alduin. I mean, you talk about embarrassing. I mean, I took Parthenex down to his knees thinking that that was Alduin, but anyhow, folks, we're ending the video here. I thank you all for watching, and I will catch you next time. Yeah.